The Bantu languages English, Proto -Bantu, asterisk Bant, technically the narrow Bantu languages, as opposed to wide Bantu, a loosely defined categorization which includes other Bantoid languages, are a large family of languages spoken by the Bantu peoples throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. As part of the Southern Bantoid group, they are part of the Banu Congo language family, which in turn is part of the large Niger Congo phylum. The total number of Bantu languages ranges in the hundreds, depending on the definition of language versus dialect, estimated at between 440 and 680 distinct languages. The total number of Bantu speakers is in the hundreds of millions, estimated around 350 million in the mid 2010s, roughly 30% of the total population of Africa, or roughly 5% of world population. Bantu languages are largely spoken east and south of present-day Cameroon, throughout Central Africa, Southeast Africa and Southern Africa. Estimates of number of speakers of most languages vary widely, due to the lack of accurate statistics in most sub-Saharan countries. The number of Bantu speakers accounts for roughly half of all speakers of Niger-Congo languages, or more than a quarter of the entire population of Africa, roughly 350 million people in the mid-2010s. About one-sixth of the Bantu speakers, and about one-third of Bantu languages, are found in the Democratic Republic of Congo alone c. 60 million speakers as of 2015. See List of Bantu peoples. The Bantu language with the largest total number of speakers is Swahili, however, the majority of its speakers use it as a second language L1, c. 16 million, L2, 80 million. As of 2015, other major Bantu languages include Zulu, with 27 million speakers, 15.7 million L2, and Shona, with about 11 million speakers, if Manyika and Ndau are included. Ethnologue separates the largely mutually intelligible Kinyarwanda and Kurundi, which, if grouped together, have 12.4 million speakers. Name The similarity between dispersed Bantu languages had been observed as early as in the 17th century. The term, Bantu, as a name or the group was coined as Ba Ntu by Wilhelm Bleek in 1857 or 1858, and popularized in his Comparative Grammar of 1862. The name was coined to represent the word for people. In loosely reconstructed Proto Bantu, from the plural noun class prefix asterisk ba categorizing people and the root root asterisk nt, some entity, any, e.g. Zulu Muntu, person, a Bantu, people. There is no native term for the group, as Bantu populations refer to themselves by their tribal endonyms but did not have a concept for the larger ethno linguistic phylum. Bleak's coinage was inspired by the anthropological observation of groups self-identifying as people or the true people, as is indeed the case, for example, with the Khoikhoi of South Africa, the term narrow Bantu, excluding those languages classified as Bantoid by Guthrie 1948, was introduced in the 1960s. The prefix ba in Bantu specifically refers to people, not language. In Bantu itself, the term for languages is formed with the Key noun class Nuni Isi, as in Kiswahili, coast language, and Isazulu, Zulu language. Apparently inspired by this pattern, there was a suggestion in South Africa to refer to Bantu languages as Kintu in the 1980s. The suggestion was immediately abandoned. Not only does the word Kintu exist, meaning thing, with no relation to the concept of language. It was also reported by delegates at the African Languages Association of Southern Africa Conference in 1984 that in some Bantu languages, the term Kintu has a derogatory significance, that is, Kintu refers to things, and is used as a dehumanizing term of people who have lost their dignity. In addition, Kintu is a figure in some Bantu mythologies. The term Kintu apparently still saw occasional use in the 1990s in South Africa. Topic. Origin The Bantu languages descend from a common Proto-Bantu language, which is believed to have been spoken in what is now Cameroon in Central Africa. 
an estimated 2500 to 3000 years ago, 1000 BC to 500 BC. Although other sources put the start of the Bantu expansion closer to 3000 BC, speakers of the Proto-Bantu language began a series of migrations eastward and southward, carrying agriculture with them. This Bantu expansion came to dominate sub-Saharan Africa east of Cameroon, an area where Bantu peoples now constitute nearly the entire population. The technical term Bantu, meaning human beings, or simply people, was first used by Wilhelm Bleek (1827–1875), as this is reflected in many of the languages of this group. A common characteristic of Bantu languages is that they use words such as Muntu or Mutu for human being or in simplistic terms, person, and the plural prefix for human nouns starting with mu class 1 in most languages is ba class 2, thus giving Bantu for people. Bleak, and later Karl Meinhof, pursued extensive studies comparing the grammatical structures of Bantu languages. Topic classification The most widely used classification is an alphanumeric coding system developed by Malcolm Guthrie in his 1948 classification of the Bantu languages, is mainly geographic. The term narrow Bantu was coined by the Banu Congo Working Group to distinguish Bantu as recognized by Guthrie, from the Bantoid languages not recognized as Bantu by Guthrie. In recent times, the distinctiveness of narrow Bantu as opposed to the other southern Bantoid languages has been called into doubt. Cf. Pirone 1995, Williamson and Blench 2000, Blench 2011, but the term is still widely used. A coherent classification of narrow Bantu will likely need to exclude many of the Zone A and perhaps Zone B languages. There is no true genealogical classification of the narrow Bantu languages. Until recently most attempted classifications only considered languages that happen to fall within traditional narrow Bantu, but there seems to be a continuum with the related languages of South Bantoid. At a broader level, the family is commonly split in two depending on the reflexes of Proto-Bantu tone patterns. Many Bantuists group together parts of zones A through D the extent depending on the author as Northwest Bantu or Forest Bantu, and the remainder as Central Bantu or Savannah Bantu. The two groups have been described as having mirror image tone systems, where Northwest Bantu has a high tone in a cognate, Central Bantu languages generally have a low tone, and vice versa. Northwest Bantu is more divergent internally than Central Bantu, and perhaps less conservative due to contact with non Bantu Niger Congo languages. Central Bantu is likely the innovative line cladistically. Northwest Bantu is clearly not a coherent family, but even for Central Bantu the evidence is lexical, with little evidence that it is a historically valid group. Another attempt at a detailed genetic classification to replace the Guthrie system is the 1999 proposal of Bastin, Coupe, and Mann. However, it relies on lexicostatistics, which, because of its reliance on similarity rather than shared innovations, may predict spurious groups of conservative languages that are not closely related. Meanwhile, Ethnologue has added languages to the Guthrie classification which Guthrie overlooked, while removing the MBAM languages much of zone A, and shifting some languages between groups much of zones D and E to a new zone J, for example, and part of zone L to K, and part of M to F in an apparent effort at a semi-genetic, or at least semi-aerial, classification. This has been criticized for sowing confusion in one of the few unambiguous ways to distinguish Bantu languages. Nurse and Philipson 2006 evaluate many proposals for low-level groups of Bantu languages, but the result is not a complete portrayal of the family. Glottolog has incorporated many of these into their classification. The languages that share Dals law may also form a valid group, Northeast Bantu. The infobox at right lists these together with various low-level groups that are fairly uncontroversial, though they continue to be revised. The development of a rigorous genealogical classification of many branches of Niger Congo, not just Bantu, is hampered by insufficient data. Computational phylogenetic analyses of Bantu include Curry, et al., 2013, and Grohlmann, et al., 2015. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Language structure. Guthrie reconstructed both the phonemic inventory and the vocabulary of Proto Bantu. The most prominent grammatical characteristic of Bantu languages is the extensive use of affixes, see Sutu grammar and Ganda noun classes for detailed discussions of these affixes. 
Each noun belongs to a class, and each language may have several numbered classes, somewhat like grammatical gender in European languages. The class is indicated by a prefix that is part of the noun, as well as agreement markers on verb and qualificative roots connected with the noun. Plural is indicated by a change of class, with a resulting change of prefix. The verb has a number of prefixes, though in the Western languages these are often treated as independent words. In Swahili, for example, kidoto kodogo amikasoma for comparison, kamwana kodoko karakavaringa in Shona language means the small child has read it a book. Kidoto child governs the adjective prefix ki, ki being a prefix representing the diminutive form of the word and the verb subject prefix a. Then comes perfect tense me and an object marker ki agreeing with implicit katabu book from Arabic katab. Pluralizing to children gives watoto wadogo wamekasoma vana vidoko verikavaringa in shona, and pluralizing to books vitabu gives watoto wadogo wamavisoma. Bantu words are typically made up of open syllables of the type 105 consonant vowel, with most languages having syllables exclusively of this type. The Bushong language recorded by Vansina, however, has final consonants, while slurring of the final syllable though written, is reported as common among the Tonga of Malawi. The morphological shape of Bantu words is typically CV, VCV, CVCV, VCVCV, etc., that is, any combination of CV with possibly a V syllable at the start. In other words, a strong claim for this language family is that almost all words end in a vowel, precisely because closed syllables CVC are not permissible in most of the documented languages. As far as is understood, this tendency to avoid consonant clusters in some positions is important when words are imported from English or other non Bantu languages. An example from Chewa, the word school, borrowed from English, and then transformed to fit the sound patterns of this language, is sukulu. That is, sk has been broken up by inserting an epithetic u, u has also been added at the end of the word. Another example is buladi for bread. Similar effects are seen in loanwords for other non-African CV languages like Japanese. However, a clustering of sounds at the beginning of a syllable can be readily observed in such languages as Shona, and the Makwa languages. Reduplication. Reduplication is a common morphological phenomenon in Bantu languages and is usually used to indicate frequency or intensity of the action signaled by the unreduplicated verb stem. Example, in Swahili piga means, strike. Pigapiga means, strike repeatedly. Well-known words and names that have reduplication include Bafana Bafana, a football team Chipolopolo, a football team Eric Jemba Jemba, a footballer Lamana Lulua, a footballer. Ngorongoro, a conservation area. Repetition emphasizes the repeated word in the context that it is used. For instance, M Wenda Pol Haji Kwai, while Pol Pol Ndio Mwendo has two to emphasize the consistency of slowness of the pace. The meaning of the former in translation is, he who goes slowly doesn't trip, and that of the latter is, a slow but steady pace wins the race. Haraka haraka would mean hurrying just for the sake of hurrying, reckless hurry, as in N-J-O-O, haraka haraka, come here, hurry, hurry. In contrast, there are some words in some of the languages in which reduplication has the opposite meaning. It usually denotes short durations, and or lower intensity of the action and also means a few repetitions or a little bit more. Example 1, in Zitsanga and Shona, famba means, walk while famba famba means, walk around. Example 2, in Isazulu and Siswati hamba means, go. Hambahamba means, go a little bit, but not much. Example 3, in both of the above languages shaya means, strike. Shayashaya means, strike a few more times lightly, but not heavy strikes and not too many times. Example 4, in Shona quenya means, scratch. Quenya Quenya means, scratch excessively or a lot. <inaudible> Noun class The following is a list of nominal classes in Bantu languages. <inaudible> <inaudible> By country 
Following is an incomplete list of the principal Bantu languages of each country. Included are those languages that constitute at least 1% of the population and have at least 10% the number of speakers of the largest Bantu language in the country. An attempt at a full list of Bantu languages with various conflations and a puzzlingly diverse nomenclature can be found in the Bantu languages of Africa. 1959. Most languages are best known in English without the class prefix Swahili, Sawana, Dabeli, but are sometimes seen with the language specific prefix Kiswahili, Setswana, Sindebel. In a few cases prefixes are used to distinguish languages with the same root in their name, such as Shaluba and Kaluba both Luba, Mbundu and Kambundu both Mbundu. The bare prefixless form typically does not occur in the language itself, but is the basis for other words based on the ethnicity. So, in the country of Botswana the people are the Batswana, one person is a Matswana, and the language is Setswana, and in Uganda, centered on the kingdom of Baganda, the dominant ethnicity are the Baganda SG. Muganda, whose language is Luganda. Topic: Geographic areas. Map 1 shows Bantu languages in Africa and Map 2 a magnification of the Benin, Nigeria and Cameroon area as of July 2017. Topic: Bantu words popularized in Western cultures A case has been made out for borrowings of many place names and even misremembered rhymes, chiefly from one of the Luba varieties. In the USA, some words from various Bantu languages have been borrowed into Western languages. These include Bamba, Bongos, Biwana, Kandombi, Chimpanzee, Gumbo. Hakuna Matata Impala Indaba Jenga Jumbo Kalimba Kwanzaa Mamba Mambo Mbira Marimba Rumba Safari Samba Simba Ubuntu Topic Writing Systems Along with the Latin script and Arabic script orthographies, there are also some modern indigenous writing systems used for Bantu languages. The Mwangwego alphabet is an abugida that is used to write the Chewa language and other languages of Malawi. The Mandombi script is an abugida that is used to write the Bantu languages of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, mainly by the Kimbonguist movement. The Izebic Solamvu or Daitima Tsa Dinoko script is a featural syllabary used to write the Sintu or Southern Bantu languages. See also Bantu peoples Miasin's rule Nuni languages Noun class <laughs>